Hey everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be making a multi charger stand. So, what this is going to do is this is going to be multiple devices that you can charge at once. You, I'm sure you've all seen these before, um, and it, the camera will move in this video when I assemble this because this is such a, a large um, 8 inch across project with all these pieces. I could barely fit it in frame at the max height of my um, stand here. So just a heads up on that later on in the video. So before we get started, um, what, uh, like I said, this is going to be a multiple charger unit. Um, I'm going to be replacing this really makeshift one that I made out of random um, envelope holders, wood flooring, and then a different box that I had in the past. So um, we're going to be replacing that makeshift one and we're going to be building a nice one now that I have a laser. That was before I had a laser there. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We'll make the build and then I'll go ahead and go over modifications, the size, um, the different openings that are available and um, what I use for it and then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll build this. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna just put these, the back piece and the two center dividers off to the side. And we're going to build the box first. And um, what we're gonna do, so obviously the back side of the box will be off of there. That's why I push that off to the side. We're gonna have to start with the top piece. Uh, the reason being is all of the sides actually have this little lip on it. Um, then the top piece is going to be fitting in there so you can't just snap it on to the, to the front here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and fast forward this like usual and we'll go from there. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got the entire front of the box assembled. Um, these holes are gonna be venting holes and your charging ports that come out um, into the sides of your unit. Um, so as you can see, I took my time and I flipped it over and made sure everything went together smoothly with light taps. If one way doesn't work, you flip it over and do it the other way until it all taps together um, with nice gentle taps until it all goes into place, just like that. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the um, the uh, back on here and then we'll put the center slots in last here. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either put it like this and hammer it on or flip it over and do it backwards. I always like to do it backwards so I can see the joints as I'm doing it. Um, that way they all line up correctly, just like this. You can just kind of line it up. Sometimes you can kind of push them in with your hand a little bit, depending on how tight your material is. Um, I use proof grade material, so this is going to fit rather tight here. So as, as you can see, you probably want to hold on to the box because the weight's going to pull it forward at this point. But um, I've got that all pretty much lined up, so I'll go ahead and hammer this on, and we'll go from there. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got that all assembled. Um, now all we have to do is put the middle inserts in and then throw our cords in there. Now something to be cautious of is if you have a charging brick that's gonna be exactly two inches because the inside is two inches, this back lip here I left open so you can slide your charging port in there, but this is only supports up to an inch and a half of a charging dock. So just a heads up on that. So if you have higher than an inch and a half to slide in there, you'll wanna put your charging dock in first and let the cord hang through this slot. And then um, you, you may wanna put your other, your other cords in there then too um, at that time and then hammer this on with all the cords hanging out the back. So just a heads up on that. So let's go ahead and put these uh, slots in and we'll go over modifications after that. All right, so as you guys can see, I've got that fully assembled now. Um, depending on how tight your joints are, these may be a little bit loose or they may be a little bit tight. They may move just slightly, depending on how much pressure you put on them. Um, but uh, this should be a pretty tight fit here. 
Um, depending on the weight of your materials, this may fluctuate because it's just resting on just those joints itself. So just a heads up there. Um, so let's go ahead and show you uh, how you can put your charging cable in here. Um, so first off, I'll go ahead and tell you about this uh, char uh, charging dock that I have. It's called a uh, RAV Power, R-A-V Power. Um, it's got six different charging docks on it. And then this one is only just over an inch wide. So it slips right in there, just like that. Um, so you can slide it in there and then put the cord however you want it to be. Um, in this case, I may even just slide the cord through this extra vent hole. So I'm going to pull the cord out like this, slide it through this hole here, and then I can put the charging unit back in its power slot, and then just slide it right in there like that. This way the uh, cord will hang out the edge like this, um, just like that, and then it can plug right into the wall. So however you want to do it, whatever way your charging unit works best. Um, and then what you're going to want to do with the other side is you're going to want to get your actual charging cables. Um, so in this case I'll just use one cable as an example, and then you can do the rest for yourself. So. Um, you can do it one of two ways. You can either reach your finger in there and feed it out the front hole, just like that. So feed it out each hole like that. Or the holes should be big enough to fit a standard USB um, size here through the front and then out the back. So you can do it either way. Um, so once you have that fed through, you just plug it into your unit. Um, so whichever charging unit you have as long as it's an inch and a half or less and then you can just push everything all in there all at one time Just like that and there you go. So this will actually plug into your um, Your actual units itself you can pull the cord through and in the inside and wrap it up as neat or uh, Sound as you need and as as much or as little cord as you need to this is just an example there so let me go ahead and flip this around to the front so you can see kind of what we're dealing with. So we have our power cable that's coming out this side or you can just let it hang out the back. I just chose to do it out the side so I can sit on the edge of the nightstand. And then you have your cable that would come out the other side here. Um, you can lay your devices sideways, plug them in, and go from there. So uh, now let's go ahead and go over a few other um, modifications that you could potentially do. Um, so in the file that I have, um, I actually have the option to put two little um, cuts here and here. That way you could put phone charging uh, stations in there. Um, that way you can set two phones side by side, just like uh, this, like one here and one here. Now, um, the reason why I didn't put it in mind, this is just an optional thing, is I personally don't like the kind of charging docks that the cable can fall inside um, and then you gotta mess with that each time and just personally don't like the way that the phones sit afterwards so that's the reason why I didn't do that um, on this one but that is in the file if you want to use those you'll just cut out the blue lines and um, you can um, you can use that um, I just personally don't like the way that phones sit like that so that's why I left it off of mine. So if you don't want that and you just want to set your device sideways, that's how you'll do it. Um, and then in the file as well with the blue line on the bottom side of this, um, if you're having like troubles getting your fingers in there, I've got it where you can cut out the whole bottom in an oval shape. That way you can get your fingers in there, do more cable management since it's technically going to just sit on the, the bottom e anyways. But I didn't really like that, so I just kept that option off on mine. So that's something that you can do. Um, the entire size is about 8 inches by 4 inches, and then a 2 inch inside. Um, and the actual print time took about 12 minutes to print this off. So the other, the last modification that I can think of is you can put your engraving right on the front um, panel here. And you can do it right on this, the front of the box itself. So that'd be a cool modification too. Um, but I just wanted to leave this blank. 
So let me get some devices, I'll throw it in here, show you guys what that looks like, and we'll go from there. Alright, so there you guys go. Um, this is with three different devices in it. Um, the iPad 12.9, I believe it is, the largest one that they have, the 7-inch tablet, and then a Samsung phone here. So it can fit a wide a range of uh, devices here. Now obviously these middle supports are only resting on just that center joint, so that'll support as much weight as it can. So you wouldn't want to put too big of devices in there, um, but uh, as you can see it can definitely hold a tablet in there. Uh, not sure if I'd put an actual iPad tablet in there, we can give it a try, see if it can support that weight. Yeah, there we go. No problems. So, um, yeah, you could you put whatever you want in there. Um, obviously, you don't want something that's super heavy. So, if you have something heavier than an iPad, probably try to avoid that. Um, and I'm sorry for the viewing angle. Like I said, this is such a large project that my stand isn't going to be able to support it here. But, like I said, you can put your actual charging ports in there, the optional ones. And you can have two different um, devices standing up. Let me see if I can tilt this so you guys can see that a little bit better. Hopefully I don't drop all these devices here. So there you go. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. Um, so you have all those devices in there. And then you can just have the actual charging uh, ports coming out or those optional ones if you want two devices to be held like that. Um, once again, sorry for the actual viewing angle. And uh, that's pretty much the project there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you guys next time.